ड्राइवर What's up, you guys? Welcome. We are where, Katie? We are in downtown Disney. That's right. Ding, 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 ding. More importantly, World of Disney, the new opening. Look, it's the, the new entrance has opened up. New signage. There's all kinds of new changes here in downtown Disney. Yeah. So we thought it would be best to kind of walk through and show you everything. Yeah. But like Spence said, we are going to check out World of Disney first because the first half of the facelift, well, the second biggest half of the facelift has just taken place. It's done. It's done. It looks so good. So let's go and check it out. Let's go. Seems like they've just opened up a lot more space. Look at all the cool lighting, very modern. But yet, always throwing back to the old school animation sketches where it all started. So just on the other side of that wall is the other half of World of Disney. The Northern Hemisphere has yet to be revealed. I'm calling this the Southern Hemisphere. So they got a lot of new displays, kind of a different style. That's actually an easel right there, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a drawing table, basically, is what that is. And people have left stuff everywhere. That's how crowded it is. So yeah, it's a good good display, good gaming. Look at this one's just kind of standard, but so look at the new princess wall. Pretty cool. And I like how they've incorporated this the animation sketches with the backlight. And some foreground elements, very cool. And of course, stocked with spirit jerseys all the way around. Tons and tons of spirit jerseys. And again, the running theme being the animation, the sketches, the easels stuff that made Disney. Just outside of World of Disney, there's a cotton candy place, and look. I want a Jack cotton candy. That is so cool. So it's a made to order situation for eight bucks, cool. Let's get it. I'm so excited. I know. All right, she's pouring in the sugar. The orange sugar. All right. I've that never goes. actually seen cotton candy be made before. Ah. Uh, Moistens it with guava. So it sticks. Whoa, that's yeah. so cool. It's starting to get all spider webbed up. Wow. There she goes. Katie and Jack, what's gonna happen here? Oh my goodness. You just went right for it. Huh? That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like a cotton candy mustache. That... Go for the stem. Oh, she went for the stem. Oh my God. What's the stem taste like? Stemmy. Does it? 
It does. It tastes like lime. Let's see if he's if he's oh he's a little upset about you taking his stem. I can tell by the look on his face. I can't tell what the pump is. This is flavored. Is it flavored? I think it's I think it's pumpkin. It is pumpkin. Mm. Mm, that's good. It is pumpkin. Subtle. Try some with the Oreo. Oh yeah. I tried part of Jack's eye. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's go. Uh -huh. Here's the old World of Disney sign. I imagine. I don't know if they're gonna keep that sign. No, they won't. Because it just looks old now. It doesn't yeah. even it doesn't match the new look. It's washed up. So bye bye, sign Leisha. Look how festive downtown Disney is. What appear to be Christmas trees, but they're pumpkin trees almost. Very cool. It's nightmare before Christmas. So Naples has finished the remodel of their main restaurant. They're still working on Napolini the to-go, but the main restaurant is done. Let's first look at the inside. Look at how amazing this entry is. Very cool. But then outside, look at this whole new area. This nice new outdoor bar. And all the umbrellas with the cool seating over here. Look how comfy and awesome the seating is. It's really nice at night too. And you're sitting right on downtown Disney. You watch the world go by. So very cool. And then just past Naples, right next to Sanook, is Salt and Straw. It's handmade ice cream. It's not open yet. A couple more days. They're opening soon and they can't wait to meet you. And I can't wait to meet you guys. And look, even the door handles are little ice cream cones. <laughs> so Ballast Point is gonna be here on the corner. I really like the look of the Ballast Point. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. And Black Tap is right here. Burgers and shakes. Oh so that's gonna be pretty good. Yeah, burgers and shakes right next door to where Ballast is pretty much. And across from the Catal. It's so wide open here now. I don't know why. It seems a lot more wide open. Did they take out a planter that used to be there? No. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. Are you sure? I'm positive. Something is more open over here. You know, I think it just feels like that. So this part of downtown Disney, virtually the same. Nothing has really changed much as of recent times. But as we get further, further back towards the hotels. That's where things have changed a little bit and then changed again. All right, so like I said, here's where it gets changed because the resort was gonna come in here and it's been put on hold, but restrooms are still over there. Thank God for Katie. But once you cross into the monorail, it's where it kind of changes a little bit. So no more Starbucks, but the habits here, setting up for the food trucks for, for the night. No more Rainforest Cafe except chicken wings, waffles, and grilled cheese. When I first saw these food trucks, they were all crammed in over in the corner by Earl's Sandwich. But now that Earl's back, they've given each of the trucks kind of their own little featured area, which is cool. And then the movie theater has turned into a big dining area. And of course, good old Earl of Sandwich is back, you guys. It's true, the rumors are true. We're so excited because it was our go-to spot. The first place when you come through the hotel security gate. Good old Earl of Sandwich. Affordable, delicious. We love Earl and we're so glad that it's back open. And I think, look at it's packed. Everybody's so stoked that it's back. All right, well that wraps up our downtown Disney update. It's gonna be great. I can't wait to eat all the holiday turkey sandwiches. Oh yes. Over at Earl's. Earl, oh yes. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Oh yeah. And subscribe to Life Disney. Yes. And while you're up there subscribing, make sure you hit your bell notification so you know when we go live and when we update. And of course, if you wanna support Life Disney, you can become one of our Patreon members. We'll have all the information how to do so right there below in the description. That's right, and we will see you next time on Life Disney and Beyond. Bye-bye, everybody! Bye.